All-star headliners in our TNT opener, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks with the NBA's best record. Kawhi Leonard's Raptors have the second best record in the East. They meet for the final time in the regular season. And we announce the All-Star Reserves coming up. Man, it is going to be a great night on TNT. Bucks and Raptors in Toronto, then Philly and Golden State in the night. Ooh. TNT NBA tip-off presented by Auto Trader from Studio J in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson, Shaq's here, Kenny's here, Chuck is here. So much going on tonight. Super, Super Bowl week here in Atlanta. Super Bowl. Big trade, huge trade we're going to wow. talk about later between the Knicks and the Mavs with Kristaps Porzingis on his way to Dallas. Jordan Brand is in the house as we look ahead to the draft next week. Wow. And, of course, the announcement of the All-Star Reserves as selected by the coaches voting for players in their own conference. And let's get right to it with the All-Star Reserves from the Eastern Conference. All right. Starting with Victor Oladipo. Oladipo! Second straight appearance. Of course, he's, he's out with a ruptured right quad tendon. Pacers 25 and 11 with him, 7 and 7 without him, giving him 19.6 rebounds and five assists. Kyle Lowry is an All Star for the fifth straight nice. time in his 13th season after not making it in his first eight. 14 points a game, five rebounds, nine assists is number two in the league. Blake Griffin is an All Star for the first time since 2015. 26 points a game is number 10. Also, eight rebounds and five assists. His scoring average is his career high. For the first time, Chris Middleton right. is an All-Star. All right, all right. right. Bucks with multiple All-Stars for the first time since 2000-2001. Middleton averaging 17.6 rebounds and four assists. Want another first-timer? How about Ben Simmons of yes, the indeed. Sixers? 17 points a game, 10 rebounds, 8 assists, 8 triple doubles, tied for second in the league. Philly with multiple All-Stars for the first time uh. since 2001-2002. Mm. Bradley Beal, yeah. second straight in his seventh season. 25 points a game is number 12. 41 20-point games is the most in the East. He's had two 40-point triple doubles this season. And the last name is that of yes. Nikola Vucevic. Yes. His first appearance Served in his it. eighth season the first Magic All-Star since Dwight Howard in 2011 and 12. 21 points a game, 12 rebounds is number 10, and four assists for Nick Vucevic, a first-time All-Star. And so there you see the reserves in the East. And uh, initial impressions when you look at that, Kenny? I, I would say everyone on there, I would agree with. And I think that these guys have really excelled individually. Um, maybe with the exception of one with the Detroit Pistons and uh, Orlando in fact, uh, propelling their teams up to higher. But uh, Vucevic has been something incredible down there in Orlando despite all of the circumstances going on. And they're 20 and 28 and number 11 in the East. Uh, when you look at how things shook out compared to how we predicted it last week, mm. uh, if you look at the East, Shaq and Kenny and I, uh, we got them all. Um, I was about to say, oh, we did? Yeah. We, okay, yo, so, okay, good. I was about to say, I was like, man. Of course we did. The only thing, I mean. That's and, why I liked it, Ernie, when you and, asked me. And the only other one was uh, you had uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, who you would have had on the team, Chuck, uh, uh, instead of Vucevic. But otherwise, everything is. Well, what, did, did, uh, what happened with D'Angelo Russell? He did not make it. Uh, yeah, but that's a. That's but here's, a but here's the deal. Uh, who should replace yeah, yeah. Victor Oladipo? Well, we well, I understand that, but he should have made it anyway. Uh, you think so? Yeah. Over, 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 over who? No, no, no. Uh, over uh, who? Uh, over anybody. He should. Listen, DeAndre Russell has been fantastic. The, the, this has probably been it. No, I mean, the Nuggets are playing fantastic, but the Brooklyn Nets have been a surprise team. 26 and 23, number six in the East. No, I think but, he will make it though. But but he should have made it the first time, Kenny. Like, first of all, you had it with me. No, I had him. I had him in because Victor Oladipo. No, but no, no, no. But I'm saying, he, he, you, he, well, he's, we all agree. No, should, but we, yeah, we, we all agree. took eight. We, we all took eight. eight. I, but I'm saying, so you agree with me? No, I had Oladipo, and then I had replacement Russell. Okay, yeah, that's but, what I had. Okay, but I had him on the original. He, okay. he, he should have made it, in my opinion. I'm really he, happy. He will make it. I'm really happy for Chris Middleton. Uh, you know, fabulous player. You know, really helping out the Greek freak a lot. Can create his own shot. 
and, you know, really, really can do a lot with the ball. I'm really happy for him. I have to disagree with you with D'Angelo Russell. Playing good, but not playing at the All-Star level yet. Almost, but not yet. That's why you think he'll get voted in. No, but he, he, will. he will. But check, he if, will. If, if your team is a number six in the Eastern Conference and you were not even expected to make the playoffs, you got to reward that guy. And he, he, I love Ben with it, but D'Angelo Russell, because we reward winning. Nobody picked the Brooklyn Nets to make the playoffs. They're the number six seed. They're not the number eight seed. So or, you would pick him over Vucevic, that's what you say. I, I don't like to say, because I don't want to rain on anybody uh, his yeah. parade, but I'm just saying, D'Angelo Russell, he's probably going to get in, but I would love to see him make it from the start. Yes. Okay. And it's interesting to see when this uh, shakes out, when you see how the coaches uh, make the selections, and then you compare it with how the players see things. I mean, they had Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler as fourth and fifth in the front court in the Eastern Conference, neither of them getting a nod from the coaches in the... Uh, in well, Jimmy Butler conference. wasn't going to get one from the coaches. No, this, that is absolutely... I don't think he's going to get a note from his own coach. That is absolutely <laughs> true. But you look at other guys, I mean, uh, Eric Bledsoe is having a good year for Milwaukee. You were in a situation with the Bucks with the best record in the Eastern Conference. Who's your second guy going to be? Uh, Middleton's having a great year. Uh, Bledsoe, Brogdon. I mean, they've got, they've got guys who were under consideration, obviously. Well, this, to me, I'm happy for Middleton, like Shaq said, because here's a guy, there's, I mean, there's so many good players in this league who never make the All-Star team because the fans gonna, number one, we, I'm glad we took a lot from the fans. They just vote for perennials. Mm -hmm. uh, a guy like Chris Middleton, who's been a hell of a player his whole career, I'm happy for him. No doubt. Um, we have some reaction, I guess, that uh, when, when uh, players got the word, uh, Kyle Lowry, Yes, there you go. Very subdued. Uh, but for the, a team like Toronto, getting their second, and here is Chris Middleton. That's and awesome. That's the first time I've ever seen him smile. I've man. never seen him smile. See, but, but see, kid, just look at the joy on his yeah. face, man. No question. Start, started his career with Detroit, was the number 39 pick, and traded to Milwaukee with Brandon Knight in the Brandon Jennings Deal. Those are the two bigger names, and now Middleton, an all-star for the first time. Congrats, Chris. Good for all these back. guys. The reserves in the West. Making our way toward All-Star Weekend in Charlotte. Friday, February 15th, the Mountain Dew Ice Rising Stars. You got All-Star Saturday night, and then the All-Star Game on Sunday, the 17th, right here on TNT. How about the reserves from the Western Conference? Here's a no-brainer to start you off with. Russell Westbrook, eighth All-Star selection, fifth straight, averaging 22-11-11, and 11, his third straight season of averaging a triple-double. He's got 17 triple-doubles for the 32-18 and 18 Thunder. Anthony Davis, you may have heard of him, sixth straight All-Star appearance in his seventh season. Second in scoring at 29, third in rebounds with 13. He was the 17 MVP of the All-Star game when he scored a record 52. Nikola Jokic. Joker! Yeah. Yes, first yes. Denver All-Star since Melo in 2011. Come on, man. His first All-Star appearance in his fourth year, 20-10-8. and eight. eight triple doubles tied for second most in the league with Ben Simmons. Yes. Damian Lillard is an All-Star for the fourth time in a second straight. He has scored in double figures in 190 straight games. Wow. Averaging 26 a night, which is number nine. Also five rebounds and six assists. Clay Thompson is an all-star for the fifth straight. Pull! For the 36 and 14 Warriors. 22 points a game is number 18. He set an NBA record, of course, with 14 threes in a game in Chicago. It's interesting now. LaMarcus Aldridge of San Antonio. 21, 21 points and nine rebounds, shooting a career-high 52%. 21 straight All-Star games in which a San Antonio Spur has represented. And Carl Anthony Towns is the final reserve. Second straight appearance in his fourth season. He's 16th in the league in scoring and ninth in rebounds and has started every game in his four-year NBA career. There are the seven voted on by the coaches in the Western Conference. Aldridge, Davis, Jokic, Westbrook, Thompson, Towns, and Lillard. Your thoughts, Chuck? I'm a disappointed they didn't reward the Denver Nuggets with a second guy. 
Um, and it, that would have been? Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray. That's the, um, like I say, I mean, they got the third best record in the NBA. I would have rewarded them. Uh, especially with all the injuries they have. It's not just a joker who's fantastic. I would have gave it to Murray. Uh, but, hey, listen, it, it's a tough call. Kenny? Tough call for uh, Donovan Mitchell. Tough call for Tobias Yeah, Harris. I was going to say, well, there's it, the outcry in Utah is going to be huge with no Rudy Gobert or Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. You know, these two guys, you know, have come on extremely well over the last two months. Uh, first month of the season was a little bit of a struggle for Utah. But after that, they, they played dynamic, both Ooh. of them. Um, you know, but the best, would you, if you look at the line, you say the best players possibly might be there, but yeah. maybe not the guys who've having the best season. And you just yeah. said, and, uh, I think you just said the key word, they started off slow in the month, you know, All-Star. Uh, you know, after the first couple of months of the season, they started off slow. They have picked it up. I think that's why they're not were not voted. They are all stars. I'm I'm really not mad at this list. You know what the other thing is, Ernie? There's probably a, there's guys like uh, in our era, Derek Harper and Rod Strickland. Rod Strickland, being particularly, made second team All NBA, but didn't make the All Star team right. that year. So they're going to be a guy like a Donovan Mitchell who can make an All NBA team or Rudy Gobert. Defensive Player of the Year, All-NBA, and not make the All-Star team this year. I think the West is that deep. Tobias Harris for the Clippers. Um, as we, let's take a look at the guys we, that we wanted, uh, or the, not that we wanted, that we thought would be uh, All-Stars. Uh, Shaq, you and I both had, were in the, the, the Tobias Harris corner. Um, Donovan Mitchell, you see there. Luka Doncic, the 19-year-old sensation. I thought he should have made it. Yeah, he should have made it. Oh, yeah. But none of us had Carl Anthony Towns on our on our list. So that's the only one I didn't have the same on there. Okay, it's Carl Anthony. So I had Carl Anthony in terms of bunch. Well, I think Carl Anthony is the, is the better player, but I just thought that Mitchell and and Gobert were having better seasons. You know what's interesting too? You look at how the players voted again. Uh, and, and not on Carl Anthony Towns here, but I'm talking about Clay Thompson. Um, he was 11th in the player ballot. Well, that's just on a basketball player to know the hell they think. <laughs> 11th. Come on, 11, 11th at his position or yes. 11th? Yeah, he was behind Rose, Lillard, DeRozan, Booker, well, Jamal man. Murray, see, Conley, see, Drew Holiday. That tells me, see, that's why I hate certain reporters and certain players. Well, this had nothing to do with media. This was the No, but I'm saying, like, like, no, but I'm just making a point. Like, that ain't, that ain't our job to like or dislike players. I'm just talking about across the board. Our job is to do our job. Like, there's players, well, I can't think of any right now, who I don't like, but I would never take my personal opinion on television and hold a grudge and say bad things about them. Like, when I, when I, if I ever voted, I'm like, oh, the guy's a hell of a player. I don't like him. You know, e even, um, you know, me and Shaq, we've had our disagreement about DeMarcus Cousins. I've never said that kid wasn't a hell of a player. Right. Never. Like, I have not, we've had a disagreement about his personality, and you, but I've never said anything about he's a hell of a player. And the, the, for them guys to put Clay Thompson 11, that's, yeah, that's, just, crazy. that's just disrespectful. But the coaches vote him in as you reserve uh, out of the Western Conference. Now, uh, let's get to the story everybody's been talking about over the last few hours, and that is the, the trade of uh, the unicorn. Kristaps Porzingis, who has voiced his displeasure uh, with management in New York, wanted out uh, and gets his wish traded with Trey Burke, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Courtney Lee to Dallas. And the Knicks get Dennis Smith Jr., DeAndre Jordan, and Wesley Matthews. And they potentially have all kind of cap space to try to make a splash in the off-season market for big-name free agents. Uh, Shaq, when you heard this had gone down, what did you think? I mean, I knew Porzingis was, uh, you know, not not having his way with with, with management, and you know, he forced a trade. And, you know, they gave it to him. I think it's good for Dallas. You know, you got two young European stars that will definitely play well together. Uh, on on the other hand, New York uh, creating 75 million of cap space. The question is, can they lure a big time free agent to come to New York? I know it's a big market, and everybody likes New York. But the question is, with the stuff that's been going on with management, can they lure uh, you know Kevin Durant or a big time player to come play in? Or a Kyrie Irving yeah. or a Kawhi Leonard, you name it. What do you, what what was your initial impression, Charles, when you heard this was going down this afternoon? I like my chances with Porzingis and Doncic going forward. I like my chances. To me. First of all, we can't say anything about, about the Knicks yet. 
yet. But like Shaq just said it. Oh, that cap space don't mean nothing unless they There's get a guys. Huge if. Yeah, it's a gotta... huge if. And then, because you're gonna have to sign somebody. And if you sign guys who aren't superstars, who are just good players, it's gonna kill your franchise for the next 10, 15 years. Let's say hypothetically, they don't get Kevin. Uh, they don't get Kevin. Say Jimmy Butler and Kyrie. And, um, Kyrie? No, no, not Kyrie. Um, Jimmy Butler and Kemba Walker. That doesn't... That'll get them to the seventh spot right. in the East, right. and they'll be dead for the next 20 years. I mean, you can... When you, Ernie, there's, there's... How many great superstars in the NBA? Well, you say, we can build around this guy five. with five. There's five guys that, no matter what position, where they are, you can build around them or we'll take your team. I mean, I think that's uh, LeBron. No question. Kevin. KD. Yep. KD yep. James Harden. Yep. Kawhi. Kawhi. Yes, Kawhi. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. I, you, Kawhi. You, I, I would say Kawhi over Anthony Davis because it's uh. proven that he, what he's doing in Toronto and what he's done in San Antonio. Yeah, but Toronto got a really good team. But, but I'm saying Anthony Davis is probably five on the list for me instead of four. Okay. But, but, but if they don't get some of those guys, or if they're going to be... It's going to... Because you know how those New Yorkers are. Oh, and, and Greek Freak. Yeah, yeah and Greek Freak. God forgot about him. But I'm telling you, you know how people in New York are. They going to have to spend that money. So if they don't get... Because remember a few years ago, we had this argument. You said, who's the big winner tonight? I said, Amari Stoudemire. Because those other teams didn't get LeBron and those guys. The Knicks had to spend money, and they gave it to Amari. Quickly on Anthony Davis here. What do you think New Orleans is going to do? And how quickly will they act? I think they will react very quickly. Uh, rumor has it that they took him out of the, you know, pre pre oh, they warm did. up. Yeah, they took him out of the thing. So obviously they are having conversation. And hopefully they're smart enough to get three or four pretty good players because you, you don't want to just let that guy walk away one and you don't want to get nothing. The leverage is now. Well, the leverage is now. Let me say this too. Adam Silver needs to block that trade. Why? Uh, I, I don't like what the Lakers are doing. I don't think it's right. I don't what think the Lakers are doing? Yes, I don't think. What, what did they do? We're collusion. Like and you know it's collusion. How's it collusion? Well, because you know. <laughs> listen. How is it's it collusion? Business. When, when you share an agent. It's well, business. Listen, let me tell you something. Rich Paul got mad at me because I said a month ago, I said, oh, the fix is in. Anthony Davis going to the Lakers. This is before all this rumor started. And he says, Charles, I don't, he didn't like me saying the fix was in. The fix has been in. I don't. I, I think Commissioner Stern, need to, who I like a lot, need to come out and say, "Hey, we can trade Anthony Davis, but he cannot go to the Lakers. Uh, we cannot have players and agents colluding to, sta to, to, to stack super teams." Adam Silver needs to say, "Anthony Davis, we love you." You can't have players. We can't have players dictating who gonna play together. But they, time out. So how'd you so get to Houston, a, as then? a player? I got traded to you. So, but I'm saying as a player. You demanded that trade. No, I didn't. No, you, I didn't. You're saying as a player. I don't like the. Another fact player couldn't say, "Man, I would love to play with you one day, man. Let's get the, if you if you want to do it, I'm ready for That's it." That's not what they're doing right now, Kenny. They're stacking the team. The agents, uh, guys are sharing agents. They're stacking team. That but ain't that, right. I'm not gonna. I'm not saying that you that 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 practice doesn't exist, but that practice exists. Guys who have the same agents have all through. Time. They've never stacked they've their teams like the they're teams trying to do now. Because of their agents, and yes. sometimes they weren't a good player. No, listen. That's t and wait, and agents who been have relationships off. with teams, that's how coaches loud. have been hired yeah. over the yeah. years. Just that not is as the loud, just, it, it, listen, That's we, not unheard of. This, this is the one that just comes out and hits you like a thumb in the eye just because of the relationships there with the agent no representing LeBron and with Anthony Davis. So what? And then coming that's out. Because he's good enough to get to his eight players. By the way, he has no intention of signing with New Orleans. He can only go to, first of all, then he says, I'm gonna only go to the Lakers, and if I sign, if y'all trade me to another team, I'm leaving after next year. Yeah. That is 100% collusion, and Adam Silver needs to say, That's God, business, no, Chuck. That's it's business. not collusion. It's yes. I want to be. Tam it's, it's tampering. How oh, if, it. if Magic Johnson oh, calls them and say, Magic This Johnson? is what we need to do. That's collusion. That's but as an agent, and you're sitting with your Come clients, on, and you're talking Come about the future on, of man. your clients, it's not com Listen. collusion. That is the future of the client. But, 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 but the bottom line here, if you're just joining us, there was a big trade today, but it wasn't Anthony Davis. It was Christoph Porzingis going for the We ain't going to play in anymore. Somebody, if everybody, <laughs> listen, <laughs> come on, man, this stuff is getting ridiculous. Yeah. If, we, if we're not going to compete on the basketball, uh, listen, if we're not going to compete in basketball, we're just going to have one or two super teams. Just let me know. Our but job is to do our job. Yeah. Got it. Come on, okay. man. Give me a break.
Was anybody else shocked when Charles used perennials in the right context? No. Yeah. No. No. He went to Auburn. What is perennials anyway? You used, you used a word. Like perennial all-star. Oh, perennial all-star. Uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we could figure it out. Right. 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 Now, see, now y'all got me hot, because I can't believe <laughs> you, who uh, used to be a superstar, and you, who's a, a hell of a competitor, it's a new generation, Chuck. all right for these it's for the new players generation, Chuck. I didn't say it's Chuck. Now, if agents it's a new and, generation, and, Chuck. And owners are having these side deals. That's a different. Come on, man. We're gonna take a break so you can put your earpiece in, and we can talk to Nico Jokic after this.